Hey there friends, what is up? Today I am commenting on my 10 Elam Victory Royale and possibly one of the best locations to land when landing in Fortnite Battle Royale. So we're going to go to an unmarked vault. It's this one over here. It's not a new spot, but it's relatively overlooked. And I like to land at the back, close to the vault. The red guard is usually inside this building. And I've been... And... Okay, so... Okay, that player is now inside the building. <laughs> um... Yeah, that was, that was a weird play. But anyway, this gun has definitely got no bullets in it. Um, but just a tip. You can actually reload, put one shell in it and fire. Put another shell in it and fire. So that play could have possibly done then. I just landed. Um, you can eliminate a person with a, with a single shot with, with a shotgun if well played. So something to remember. Good to know the tools. And I would love me some shield. Okay. <laughs> let's let's check in this room. No? Okay, just give somebody something to stare. That can be quite distracting because um if you're out there, you know, and someone busts a window, you're gonna it's gonna distract you for a number of seconds, and that gives me time to actually run down and open the vault and uh, barricade this place more or less and um, hopefully I get some good weapons so in these chests you can sometimes get legendary weapons so this is one of the spots that I like to land in but if you're a content creator and uh, you know you, you don't want to always land in the same places it makes the videos a little bit boring so it's good to mix things up a little bit I finally got some shield so that's cool and I'm gonna run with three weapons. Um, my playstyle, I, I like to actually run with three weapons. So far in the season, I've got a lot of success running with, in the beginning, running with um, two SMGs and an assault rifle, or an SMG, fast firing, AR, and a shotgun. Um, I particularly like the the, um, the shotgun that I'm carrying. Now. I'm, I'm not fond of the the pump shotguns. And um, the reason for that is the delay. I, I find that it's a little bit too long and it, it doesn't agree with my playstyle. I may keep it for a while, but I won't keep it throughout the whole game. Um, Peter Griffin's gun. You know, it does eliminate a foot shot elimination. So possibly might keep it. Let's see in future videos. So, I like the this um, Fuzzberry thing. So let's just have a look, see if there's any other players in the area. Not? Okay. You know, that place is pretty empty. There's quite a few chests that I haven't had a look at. I might get some more shockwave grenades <laughs> at the least. So, let's go back. There should be a chest in here. Okay, that one was opened. And okay, we can carry that. Got a spear slot open. The grapple blade. I'll use it for transportation if there aren't any. If I know I'm not going to uh, run into a, a lot of players. Um, otherwise. I would actually prefer the shockwave grenades and the reason for that is um, because of a slow internet connection what happens is when I'm moving from building to building I get a glitch if there's if there's players around me and for the second or two not even I know exactly where the play is so I do avoid that sometimes I get by you know your internet connection does speed up sometimes so sometimes I do get by but I don't uh, I prefer the shockwave grenades if there's nothing else yes I'll go with the grapple blade but 
for now, for that particular reason, not. I actually did get a, a few il ilums after landing um, in, in one of my games. I actually did make a video of that, so you can check that out. I did actually fight with the grapple blade because there was nothing else around me. And worked out pretty well. So look out for that video. It's coming out soon. So okay, there is a chest here. Somewhere. Possibly behind this wall. Definitely not below. Okay, there we go. Alright, there's a vent there. Okay, nice. Secret room. Actually, I hardly... I, I hardly actually... I've never actually come for this particular chest, to be honest with you. This is the first time. So, let's save... Some fizz. Take some bullets. Okay, we might as well take that vehicle. Get back into the fight sooner. Okay, that was quite okay. I've got decent weapons. I can actually win a game with those weapons, so I'm pretty much happy with the weapons that I got. There's a fight close by, and let's go and give somebody a bad day. And what's nice is that I've actually got some shockwaves, so if I get pinned, I can I can I can re I can collect myself again and then get back into the fight. You know, there should be a player behind me. And wh what is strange, often, more often than not, the players actually... One of the players will actually run away when you third party them. So, possibly because uh, that player needs to reload. Fresh person comes in, fully reloaded, and you, you've you already used the three weapons that you've got. And you're now on the last one, and... You've already fired a couple of times, so you gotta reset. It's a possibility. I like to make sure that all three of my weapons are reloaded before engaging all opponents. Then I can. Okay, below me. Tree. Okay, fall to the side. Lots of players actually expect you to attack directly, which is... Uh, that is just silly. So... That wouldn't happen. Most most people will either drop to the side... Um, because you got a little bit more cover... When attacking, then... Just to, to leap off. It all depends, I suppose, if you leap... Off and you can turn for you can turn around fast enough. You could actually get a direct headshot jumping over the person, and then an elimination when you land. That depends on your skill. Any players around me? Not okay. There's a fight close by. Let's get into that one. So now that I've adjusted my settings, I can actually play spells a lot quicker. So, I would encourage everybody to revisit their settings. We've got new movement, new animations and stuff. And um, I didn't think of it earlier, but yes, obviously you need to adjust your settings. So this is just OG. Knowing your surroundings, getting into a battle, be able to um, fix your health immediately by knowing your surroundings. Let's just grab some bullets. And I, I like to have like a minimum of at least 400 shells when I can. I get a lot of tongue lashing about my aim and why do I need to aim right when I've got so many bullets? I can afford to miss. I don't know if you can call that a pro tip or opposite of a to of, a, of, of a pro tip, but there it is. So okay, we are now at Nisha's. So the nice thing is the medallion is still here. Let's see if we can actually 
see how, see how, how much health she's okay. She is not being touched. Okay, wow. Well, okay, so she's got all the health. Okay, that's definitely not a not, not, not a boss. That is maybe it's a boss, but it's another player. No skin. Man, what you been doing with all your V bucks? It's often really good players that that, tra that move around with no skin. They're so good. Why don't they have V bucks? Okay. My left to my right, but healing as well and jumping. That play is that play is good. Okay, that structure was definitely not there a second ago. So I did laser that player, so that play is over there. Nice. Oh wow, okay. Smart. Like um, the placing of the uh, balls over there, I couldn't I couldn't place balls that fast before adjusting my settings. And now that I have, I can actually place balls that fast, and and that's like really made a huge difference in gameplay. So basically, I just up the end this uh, sensitivity by one or two, um, um, you know. Adjustment levels and yeah Major difference. I may revisit my settings again tweak them a little bit more See if it's at the optimal. I won't know until I tweak it play a little bit tweak it again play a, a little bit more and um, Here's a player and then decide which which tweak setting actually work Okay, should be reloading. Yep. We carry more guns. No shame in carrying four guns. No health. Might as well carry five guns and no health because the life expectancy in Fortnite is very low. <laughs> um, flow berry fizz. It's a transportation <laughs> device. That happens to you. Okay, nice. So, I've got Nisha's medallion and her AR. So her AR is basically like an SMG. It it does a lot of damage. So technically, I've still got an AR, uh, uh, an SMG. I've I've still got two SMGs. So let's reload the weapons. Make sure. Um, I can get all the building material, all the resources that I can get. And then get back into the fight. Oh wow, my back door was wide open. Okay, ain't nothing we can do about that window. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to get into the vault, so I'm just checking if I'm actually above the vault, which I'm not. And okay, let's have a look and see if there are still any other players in the area. So, I'm not sure if you guys actually took note of. Um, what I did there when when I, I attacked Nish, uh, Nisha, and I do this by all the bosses. If I'm attacked while I'm attacked uh, while I'm attacking the 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 boss, then I will actually leave the boss because the boss actually creates a diversion, a distraction, and I then attack the uh, the player that actually um, done the third party. And I like to actually eliminate all third parties before I take the, um, the medallion because 
then you el eliminate the medallion holder, you weak and then you get jumped. So it busts everybody up before you take the medallion. It works. So okay, let's just close up in case there are still any other trolls out there. So I'm hoping to maybe get a legendary SMG and a le legendary um, shotgun. Let's see what's in the... Okay, that looks like a sniper. Okay, nothing better there. Nope. Nope. So usually the SMGs, the epic SMGs are already decked out with wh whatever you'd want them to, to, to have to be better. So I generally don't check on that. But you guys can maybe play around with it and see if there's any adjustments that you found that um, the epic generally doesn't come with. But I think they're pretty okay when where they are. Fight just ahead of me. Get a bird's eye view. It's actually further than I thought it was. Oh, okay, that's why it seems so close. So in that case, jumping around over there and taking pot shots. Okay. So I'm attacking this 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 player, and the reason why is. There, there's three players down there. So there's one player that is shooting, another player shooting at another player. So when I shoot at this player and this player starts running away, it's going to notice that the other player behind him is actually shooting at him and it's going to turn around and the two of them are going to keep each other busy and I can go after this player. Once I'm done with this player, I can go back and eliminate them. Huh? You see my idea there? I'm putting thought into what I'm doing. I'm putting thought into what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay, I didn't I didn't I didn't think that player is gonna disappear. Oh there he is up there. Okay. But still scenario is still those other two players are still fighting, so I'm going to go this way. Using my flow berry fizz. And okay, that player is definitely in that building. <laughs> still okay, and I'm being attacked, so there is someone else. So, okay, let's fight that player while the other one is healing. Oh, nice. GG's, player. Okay, I need to reload my weapon. Oh! Wow. That player opportun uh, took an opportunistic approach to my dilemma. <laughs> Possibly thought I'm weak, but I'm not weak. But either way, I mean, I can't fight now because my, my gun's <laughs> Okay, so I need to reload weapons. So I got the distance using the shockwave grenades. And like you, you guys can see how, how my, my settings have actually improved my bolt setup. So that guy's down there. I'm up here. Reloading my weapons. Storm's rolling in. So okay, the, the, this, the new storm safe zone actually plays like quite far so i've got time i've got the high ground advantage i'm not sure whether that player did find any healing items down there probably but either way the, the new safe zone is quite far so i've got the um height advantage so i'm going to wait this player out see if he attacks me if he attacks me then I'm obviously going to be able to deal a lot more damage um, while keeping cover. Okay, I think we can move now. So, I'm moving now because I've got the flow berry fizz, so I can move around the map quicker. That player is running from the storm, so we don't know where the third player is on the map. And I've got time now to actually locate that other player on the map. And I should have time to actually fight that player while this guy is running out of the storm. So, I've thought this through. I'm thinking this through. Don't, I'm not just playing like, like, like 
for the sake of it. I'm thinking things through. When I want to win, I think things through. So, I saw some glowing. I'm thinking this player is right here. So we all saw the, the gold sniper that the, that the other player did not pick up and players like running around with snipers. So I'm thinking that that other player does have a sniper and I need to be careful. If he's not attacking it's because he can actually reach you from where he is. So this player is below me. And I can't see the other one. Okay, so the new safe zone. Okay, but this is this is the this is late game, so that safe zone is not far. <laughs> Can't be far. There's not much map left. So, okay, there's a, um, a strange structure down there. It's possible that that play is in there, but. I know this this isn't doing anything, but it's keeping that guy down there busy and possibly flushing the other player to reveal his location because he would think that we're in a fight. I gotta move now. This uh, safe zone is not safe anymore. <laughs> okay, so this is where that other player is. And yep, he's got a sniper. Did you see it? I saw it. But anyway, I'm going this way because I actually attracted that player's attention so he's going to be going to be watching me for a couple of seconds and in that time wow you see the other player found him it's crazy so i'm hoping that that guy got lasered now but i won't know until we actually engage nobody's healing Okay, it seemed like seemed like it took a flow berry. Okay, looks like he's looking for okay. So I got pretty good weapons. And a medallion so my elf regenerate my shield regenerates to a certain degree so I'm, I'm pretty okay with losing it the way it did wow <laughs> and uh, let's use the flow berry this because i need to move now and this is gonna give me an incredible way of moving oh that's awesome eh okay that player is using the grapple blade to get around So, I'm going to use the flow berry fizz again to move some more. And okay, I'm going to use this cone as soon as it allows me. So, that player didn't see me move this way. So, the likelihood is that he's thinking I'm moving either through the courtyard or through the outside of the map. Okay, there he is. Wow, to think I had full building material and I'm running out right now. Okay, let's get him to stop. Okay, I got him to pause in front of the turret. So now the turret is giving him a tongue lashing. Oh, wow. Did you see how he glitched? Okay, he should be weak. He should be weak. GG's player. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a 10 elimination victory royale. It's a full game, uncut, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy the content of this channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.